Hi, I'm Vaughn from Timbu, and today I'm going to show you our new Bluetooth Low Energy support. So right here, I have a Arduino Uno connected to a Red Bear Lab BLE shield. And what you can do now with Timbu is we'll generate the code for you to program a mobile app to communicate with the BLE shield and trigger any Quario in our library based on proximity, which is really cool. So we have uh, a whole section of our website uh, dedicated to explaining this with tutorials, uh, timbu.com slash hardware uh, slash Bluetooth. And we'll walk you through basically step-by-step -step everything you need to do to make this really straightforward and easy uh, right here. And then I'll show you exactly what this looks like in terms of uh, a Quario page. So here is the send email Quario for the Gmail API. It sends an email. And uh, at the top, you'll see that I have IoT mode on because I'm programming hardware. And from the devices list, I've chosen Arduino, which is the device I'm programming today. And from the connectivity list, I've chosen my BLE shield. So if we look down through here, you'll see that I have all my inputs already set up. Uh, these are basically just my Gmail credentials and then the text of the email that we'll be triggering. And then down here is all the code that we've generated to make all of this happen. So these first two blocks of code here are for uh, an iOS app. This will be the iOS app that you would build to communicate with the BLE shield and trigger the Corios. If you wanted to build an Android app, we'll generate the code that, for that as well, just by selecting here. And then at the bottom, we have the code that you'll need to upload to your Arduino, the Arduino that's uh, connected to the BLE shield. And we have actually this all set up right now, but first I'll show you this empty uh, Gmail inbox. So this is where we're gonna be sending emails today using uh, proximity. So on my phone, I've created a app to demonstrate this. This is a really simple example app. And so when I open it up, uh, it's been, it has the, the generated code from our, from our website for creating an iOS app. Hit connect and it will make a connection with uh, the BLE shield and it'll show you the signal strength. And basically, whenever that signal strength becomes above negative uh, 50, it'll trigger a Gmail, the Gmail Corio and send an email to this inbox. So I have right now the BLE shield in my hand and I'm slowly bringing it closer to the phone and the app will register that. It'll jump around a little bit, but you'll see as I get it closer and closer, it'll eventually cross that threshold, which it just did right now. And now if you look in the inbox, you'll see that there's the hello world email that has been triggered by this. And uh, basically this will keep on happening as long as I have uh, the BLA shields near uh, the phone. So it's really simple uh, to do this with any of the Corios in our library for any of the over 100 web services uh, we support. So lots of really cool things that you can make happen where you're using mobile apps and VLE shields to trigger all sorts of events with web services based on proximity. So go try it out and have a lot of fun. It's really cool. Thank you.